Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to how the Sidemen built a $100 million YouTube empire. The Sidemen have been around for over a decade. The Sidemen came up from GTA races. All of them had individual paths and they somehow aligned together to form one of the best YouTube groups of all time. And we're now gonna be taking a look at their journey to see how they got here. But before we start, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe because I feel like a lot of you are not subscribed. But yeah, let's get into this. This was made by Dodford. All right, let's get into it. In 2022, the Sidemen are international superstars. They're creative pioneers. Hey, this was a, this was a cool day when they hit 10 million. Because obviously, this is his third one. I think this is his third one? Yeah, third one. Second. Second now. And the rest is their first. Lucrative businessman and the face of UK YouTube. Facts. They are the face of UK YouTube. The starts with seven lads in their bedrooms itching for an impossible future. It's a success story for the ages. Facts. But Facts. can it ever be done again? The nope. Nope, nope, it can't be done again. Not to the scale of the Sidemen have done it. The way the Sidemen have come up, I don't think we'll see it again. They came up six, seven individuals from gaming. That's how they came up. KSI do Mini Mentor, Josh knew Toby, then the rest all just met each other randomly. And then obviously Nepenthes told them to get Harry. That's how, that's how it started. And they've been doing this for a lot of years. Originally, they only did this because of the Sidemen show and they realized they had to have a platform where they uploaded constantly together. That's why they started this. And obviously for the Spiritual YouTube game. journey is a decade in the making. Let's wish okay, care, Simon. Simon and JJ knew each other in school. Yeah, I told you. I need to give them. Online for a while before inviting Ethan one day in 2013. Victor yeah. later that year, and the six of them began a GTA group called yeah. the Ultimate Side. Ultimate Side. One more member. The group was completed with Harry's arrival in early 2014. Yeah. All seven were creating individually on their own channels before deciding to join forces. Yeah. Thus, true. The true. side men were born. Their GTA games were so jo Umber, they made me want to do playlists. Their GTA sessions, but you know how many individual POVs I had to watch of their GTA gameplay? Like if something good went down, I watched the person whose gameplay was. And whoever was ahead of everyone else's recordings, I watched that. Because one of them would drop before the rest. Their first year was a quick success. <laughs> Episode 65. Found traction and clearly the boys had stumbled upon something interesting. Nah, their GTA set was so funny. So much so that with their growing platforms, rising monetization and flourishing friendship, GTA. they left their parents' homes and created the Sidemen house. Oh, this, uh, this house was iconic. This house was iconic. <laughs> this house... I remember this video when it dropped. The Sidemen's output hit maximum overdrive. With nothing to do besides record videos. Facts. Day, it's true. Day, All they did was record the videos. <laughs> their YouTube channels grew and grew. And they grew. took it to All new levels. They they'd landed in the perfect setup. They were doing what they loved in an environment that encouraged it while living with their closest mates. But for many of them, I'm sure this was a crossroads moment. Was it was a huge That's risk moment. moving into a house with practically strangers. YouTube True. was big at the time, but being a YouTuber, it wasn't quite respected yet. At least I'm sure not from their parents. Facts, facts, so facts. It, 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 it really wasn't. They started YouTube at a time period where no one was ever doing it. Especially him. He started it. Parents were told him, no, go to school. And then obviously he made money from it. And then they were like, you know what? Go for it. Do it. And then obviously Mini Mentor used to help him. That's how it went. The job was revealing itself, but there were no guarantees. That is crazy. I remember that. And the motorboat. Finding their feet, working out who they were. Was it the right decision? Yeah. Fuck it. Subscribing in an hour. I'm gonna go and do more. They were kids chasing a dream. I like that. I kind of when I get subscribers, I get I get okay, I get happy. Along the way. Shit, man, we're going somewhere. Yeah. I need to do more of it. I need to do more of it. Play, record, edit, sleep, repeat. That's it. Over and that, over. I like that. I like that. The grafter. Days at their desks, cultivating something big. They were only just sniffing. No, something Vic uploaded three videos a day. To notice. The Sidemen House really three a day. Together. I see why Vic. I, I see why Vic stopped. Three a day, you know. Vic used to actually drop three a day on three different channels. As well as colleagues, they were truly best friends. <laughs> they were each integral hey. parts of the group. But a side effect of broadcasting your lives like the boys were is something interesting. Yeah. We felt like a member too. It was intimate. When fans today say they grew up with the Sidemen, this is where it began. Can you come see this real quick? It's true. This is actually where it began. <laughs> this is where it actually began. Personalities bloomed, dynamics developed, and the character archetypes were formed. That was not really the same, man. Expect Vic to be bullied. Fuck you, JJ to do something weird. Nah. Or Ethan to laugh hysterically. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is jokes. Man shows to a sitcom cast, and fans were ready to binge. Nah, I'm a bureau. All of them in our house together was something like 
What can I resemble this to? AMP now. Them guys in the house are like AMP now. But the difference between them and the Sidemen now is the AMP just live stream. And when they live stream, all six of them are in the same house. That's the only difference. Sidemen never had all seven of them in the same house. Only four of them. AMP have all six. So I think the closest to, like, for example, a content house, which is jokes, is them. Bayer Squad was fun. That was obviously, but they didn't post a lot. Let's be real, they didn't post a lot. They would just do their house with jokes, but they just never really posted that much. Until AMP live stream every day. These guys used to drop videos every single day. So many a day. Now that they're, now that they're all alone, yeah. Not the same, but yo. Know. The mid 2010s were the golden era of YouTube vlogging. Despite Facts. coming from backgrounds in Facts. gaming, the side of them were finding great success in their real life content. Bro, they YouTube did both. Bustling with this stuff back then. Oh yeah, this this group, yeah. We don't want to talk about where they are now. We don't want to talk about where they are now. His creator friends reigned the platform for years, but many of these guys are nowhere to be seen. Yeah, they, they said Adam. Joe Sugg said, "My audience have all grown up, or the True. audience I had back then. They're all now in their twenties. The stuff that I knew how to make back then is not what they want to consue now as content." Which means True. Thing. True. It's all just grow up. Well yeah, adapt or perish. Welcome to the Sidemen Side channel. Adapt or perish. A pivotal year for the Sidemen. It was time to expand, attempt new things. Yes, their yes. Their channel was born just in time for their first charity football match. Yeah, that's how they made it. That's how they made it. Hundred grand as a YouTube group is mad. Right people, and a decision was made to slowly phase out their gaming content in favor of their newer project, Sidemen Sunday. Mm. Bro, they actually missed, they only missed one week. Started modestly standard trends and ideas it didn't take long however for those ideas to expand alongside a growing budget these videos were the same oh they went wild potential. the combination of adolescence and resource coalesced into highly captivating content the nah. sidemen channel if you see the sidemen videos they made back in the day compared to the videos they made now you'd be shocked the budget everything has skyrocketed baked in millions of new fans and larger the videos they made will make the second channel right now in 2018, the group announced the Show. Yeah, that's why they made the video for this. YouTube Originals, the seven-part series was the boys' first dip into traditional media. With professional crews and budgets, the Sidemen were now equipped with... Yeah, that's why they made this channel, as well as for this. Co -stars. This series had all the bells and whistles of larger productions, but still the authentic heart that Sidemen fans loved. Yeah. Oh my god, he actually did it. Oh Despite my god, yeah, she did it. Never tried to repeat it, but they did catch a taste for that production value. Wanted yeah. to take matters into their own hands, but they no upped the production value. Help. They laid their eyes on talent manager Tanya Pyle, who helped put the YouTube original series together. Had it? We were just like, yo, like, do you want to be our per personal manager? And she just thought about it. Oh my day, just I started. Fuck it, let's go. Let's see what happens. Oh, shame. Hey, big up to her, man. This catalyzed a new era. She led to this. Sundays. Bigger ideas, larger budgets, and longer and longer screen time. Yeah, that nah, they do long content. videos. To consume every single Sunday. Oh! I think we actually don't know what the next time of Sunday is going to be. Of a fan's week. They were huge videos, but more importantly, they were consistent. Please tell everybody your favorite Yeah, spell. every Sunday. <laughs> Regularity, alongside the boys' hunger. To every Sunday, never no, doubt they don't miss. They don't miss. Industry. This holiday video in which the yeah, if you guys are still here, make sure you guys subscribe though. I feel like a lot of you are not subscribed. Split up into this is 100 mil, by the way. What did the assignment think? We have 100 mil. That had 100 mil. It's two hours of the lads abroad, but the views don't lie. This video is pure entertainment. Hey, that, no, that video was funny. No, the holiday videos are not the same as it used to be. Extensive planning and absorbing performances. There's an effective story here. No, the thing is, their videos are not the same when they do holiday videos because. They've stopped doing the introduction where they don't tell us where they're going. Because it's a bit boring the fact that now we know specifically at the beginning where they're going. The whole concept was split into random teams, you'll find out later in the video where you're going. So everyone thinks they're in the bad team. But now that we know we're in the good team, we just see the whole journey from the beginning. There's no twist. That's what I think. Because back when I used to watch it, even I didn't know who's the good team or the bad team. Because Josh used to do a little twist. How could they ensure all of this but success are still jokes, didn't though. start crumbling? The side men are made up of more fame, yep. money, yep. influence yep. True. than they ever expected. 
They've gone from gaming after school to having the world at their fingertips. That is so it's true. A power shift sure to go to the heads of most, but the boys never forgot their roots. That's the never did. Had to be put in place to keep each other ground. Yeah, they're, they're, each other. Each other. They, they each other gave for, like, for like all of them. Achieving. It's not because it's just like brand achievements. Is we're friends, right? Besides yeah. Pretty they keep each other level. Charge. No one. They knew from day one that keeping it democratic would eliminate egos. It's true. There's That's no what they do with the, with the yellow cards and red cards. Priority and responsibility. Every Sidemen Sunday you watch was assigned to a specific member whose job it was to yep. organize that and very oversee true. the whole project. When a video is completed, it's tallied up on a spreadsheet next to the member who directed it. The goal is to rotate this assignment around with responsibility being shared. Facts. Equally. That's, what, that's what I hypothesis. respect. I respect that so Can't much. Can't Sidemen eliminate tardiness? Yeah, red cards. The system is the group's way of ensuring accountability. And if you're this guy, he's nailed this on the head. Shoot, you get a yellow card. Two late and a red card. With the red card, a Sidemen Sunday you directed is now scrubbed off your tally. Oh. Why is this bad? Because now you're behind the rest. You have to catch up with the videos. The goal is for this tally to be equal amongst all of them. Oh, you have to catch up. Assigned, it has to go to you. If you have to sacrifice maybe like one thing that you can do at a later date for the benefit of six of your friends, you're gonna do it. If you get true. Cards, it's you true. More work in there. Mm -hmm. The more you let the team down, you have to pick. You have to pick it up, bro. You can't slack. This decision might be the key but, factor. But but they let KSI slide because he does a lot of boxing stuff. The group takes priority, and they've all recognised this. Their longevity yeah. is a result of discipline think, and selflessness. I think Simon gets away with it because he does with the second channel a lot. So he doesn't take on as much responsibility on the main channel. That's what I've heard. And obviously KSI is barely to be seen because he's boxing, a lot of other stuff. That's why he wasn't even in the last Sidemen Sunday. Like, did you, it got to the point they started calling him a guest star. But More Sidemen know it to be seen. Among Us know it to be seen. Out of this. For years, the Sidemen boys... I read, I read the Sidemen, man. You have to be when starting... I read the Sidemen highly. They knowledge of sound, camera, marketing, distribution, design, yep. and editing. They did it There's all. a crucial stage in every creator's growth. Hey, Mr. Beast. Leave that control behind. We have a couple people that are so essential. Yeah, to you have to hand it out, man. Now. You have to hand it out. come in and they just put us first. Yeah. On a daily basis. You gotta, you gotta spread it out, man. Expert team of specialists that help bring their dreams. It makes their job a lot easier. Dozens of employees that help on thumbnails all the way up to building businesses. Yeah. They've recruited powerful people with talent and drive. Hey, chip fat. The side men. What? What an editor. So, what an editor. Job titles have evolved. I think the one thing that's very different hey, about being some, a SMA. video creator is that to do it as a job, you have to become a distributor. As they've aged, qualities in management, True. supervision, and leadership. You need to understand the everything. Spirit for enterprise emerged, and many successful business ventures are thanks to the behind-the-scenes help. Because yeah, you can't just be a YouTuber. You actually have to. Obviously, at the beginning, obviously, you can't do much. Like obviously, myself, you can't really do much. You can only drop videos, edit them yourselves. Once you eliminate the editing part and you give that to somebody else, you know how much time you free up for yourself. You don't have to worry about it. As long as like, imagine you trust someone to edit your videos properly, you can just hand it to them, know that it will be done successfully, review it. Be like, yeah, this is good to go. Get a thumbnail. Don't even have to worry about the thumbnail. Someone will give you that. Review it. Say, I like it. Post it. Simple as that. You just come up with the title, load it onto YouTube, and you're good. The whole start and end process all changes. You record the video yourself, or if you have camera crew, they record it for you. Then you get that footage from them. They'll ship it straight to your editors. You All you have to do is just turn up and record. That's it. And if you have a production team who picks stuff for you, it's so much easier. Rock solid That's the goal. And That's the goal. It's really hard to see the Sidemen slowing down. It's so true. You guys really could do Sidemen forever. Mm. And it's true, they could. Maintain your lifestyle forever. Facts. Facts. I'm sure the Sidemen look back on their journey as a bit of a fear. I guess to the point, they don't even need to be in the, all the videos. If someone wants they to take a week break, they so can. Much, and every step is still there. Because you get guests. Just 10 years ago, they were kids playing FIFA in their bedrooms. They Facts. didn't know their place in the world, what was destined FIFA, for them. FIFA, COD, they just had the GTA, to imagine. COD Against Humanity. Thinking, Endless drive and a whole to this day, in case I didn't finish that South Park episode, so they got scared. Their own path. So and many businesses seem as now. I'm sure back then they felt the same way. YouTube Thanks. today might seem like an impenetrable fortress, like the stars are already established, but the world latched True. onto the sidemen for who they were. You don't need a million dollars or a dedicated team. Facts. Audiences want one thing good content, and that's you. Ultimately, the sidemen yeah, want okay, one yeah. thing that anything is possible if you just believe in it. Do the fucking work. Hey, I'm gonna be honest. W storytelling. W storytelling. I was have to pause a couple of times to add my two pens. But W storytelling. Well, it was a Bonford. 
W story, even Big City. Love this, very well put together. I'm gonna be real. W storytelling, because that told everything that you need to know about the Sidemen. YouTube may be different now. There were seven guys who used, used to play games with each other. And what did they do? Unlike some YouTubers, they evolved with the time. They didn't stay stagnant. They realized about trends. They realized what's doing well and what isn't. And they just evolved. I told you, adapt or perish. Simple as that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment. If you want me to do more stuff like this, let me know. I enjoyed this video. It's informative to look at some of the, some of the groups and how they came together. And this was very well put together, I must say. But yeah, catch you guys in a bit. Take care and peace.